He is rock a rock rock <laughs> The best two teams in all the baseball, all, all the uh, uh, in baseball, really, uh, the American League, I should say, uh, Luis Torrens. We saw him. What's the deal? What's going on with Torrens? Yeah, we saw him. We just haven't met him yet. I mean, we were in Atlanta. We saw him in his locker twice post game while we're waiting for somebody else. You know, he comes out of the shower. You're like, oh, there he is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no chance to tell Hello. him. Hello. Uh, you must be Luis Torrens. And then uh, today we saw him at his locker twice for like a total of five seconds. Not because he's ducking us. He just had stuff to do. He I was in, there. I didn't yeah, see him. Grabbed his cap and his glove. But we can confirm he has a locker and he's here. He's still on the roster. We just don't know for how long yet. Hasn't gotten to do a game. They wanted that third catch to make it easier to keep Adley Rutschman and James McCann in the same lineup. If you lose your DH, as it turns out, I think they did yesterday in the 12-inning game, yeah. but they still didn't need him, and it was for different circumstances. Right-handed bat off the bench. We just don't know for how long. It could be the foreseeable future, or maybe this this temporary thing. They're facing a lefty tonight, Shane McClanahan, the Baltimore native. A couple righties after that. And then down the road, maybe they decide, you know what, we can get Taron Vavra back up here, left-handed bat. He's caught four innings in two games at AAA. He is now the emergency catcher for sure. It's official if he was back on the roster. But for now, they do have the three catchers. The bench lost a little flexibility for a few days when Austin Hayes was not on the I.L., but he had the, the gash on his right middle finger. He was on the bench, unavailable to hit, even though he said he could. It was pinch running at the most, and they had two catchers on a four-man bench. So we'll see how long they go with this arrangement. For now, this is what we got. We can confirm that Terenz is here, and eventually we will get to talk to him, I would think. Not denying it, only confirming it. Speaking of how long, how long before Oriole fans see Dylan Tate? Yeah, we wonder. Actually, Tate and Givens both are continuing the rehab assignments, and, you know, they're both going to pitch Wednesday. Now, Givens is staying with the Bay Sox. They're going to be in Harrisburg all week. Tate, he gets the trip to Florida. Good for him. He gets the, He's joining AAA Norfolk, and they're in Jacksonville. No offense to Harrisburg, but, you know, it's a Florida trip. But they're both pitching again Wednesday. Brandon Hyde had that information ready for us when he walked in today. But he was kind of like, I know you're going to ask it. Here it is, and then we'll go from there. Could they be back right after those assignments? Don't know. We'll go from there. And he's, don't know yet. <laughs> we, we want more information. It's just those two uh, that they're pitching Wednesday. Givens was in the clubhouse today. We got the chance to see him. And he said, you know, the knee feels a lot better. The tenderness is gone. He's made three appearances with Bowie. No runs, no hits, five strikeouts. So that's all good. Tate, it's been more of a struggle. Now, he had told us earlier he's going to probably need five or six games. Needs to go back to back. He's done both of those things. Four at Bowie, one with Aberdeen. But the numbers, it's, it's eight earned runs, ten total, nine hits, three walks, and four innings. So he may have a little ways to go yet if we're, if we're putting a lot of emphasis on the production. Didn't pitch at all in spring training. We have to remember that. Givens made like four appearances before he was shut down. Tate never pitched. The most he progressed was bullpen sessions and working in his changeup. So you figure he might be behind. But we do know the rehab assignments continue Wednesday. And then, as Brandon said, I'll quote him again, We'll go from there. Go from there. Now, Cedric Mullen not in the lineup. Not a matchup situation. It is not, and he stressed that when he was asked about that. Brandon <laughs> said, look, just trying to give the guy a breather. Now, he tried to do that with Adley Rutschman twice. He ended up playing later anyway. So he's still on pace for 162, and so is Mullen. So it's a day off for now, and then we'll see. But, you know, he played, you know, the, the three-city, 10-game yeah. road trip. Brandon said it was three of the biggest outfields in baseball. Played his heart out in Atlanta like a lot of guys did. But it's definitely not matchup. He's hitting 296 with a 950 OPS against lefties this year. Big turnaround from when he struggled last year. And he's 6 for 17 with two home runs against Shane McClanahan. So if you were going to play him against the lefty, this certainly would be the night. As far as we know, it's just about they want to give him a breather. I wouldn't be surprised if we see him later. But whenever Mullins isn't in the lineup or Rutschman or somebody else, you, one of the big names you check, just like with Austin Hayes, the finger's fine, but we kept asking every day. We always have lineup questions too, Rob, Absolutely. as you know. Yeah, we do. We do. a lot. Rock right. 